polychoria, two pupils in one eye. Before anything else, don't forget to subscribe to the eye news for more interesting videos. Polychoria affects the pupils and can occur in both or just one eye. It commonly starts during childhood, but is often diagnosed later in life. Two types of polychoria include True polychoria. This involves two or more separate pupils sharing one eye. Each pupil has its own normally functioning sphincter muscle, which allows it to constrict and dilate. This condition can affect vision though it is extremely rare. False, or pseudopolychoria. This creates the appearance of having more than one pupil in the eye. However, they do not possess their own sphincter muscles. These additional pupils are only holes that are caused by a defect in the iris and do not affect vision. Symptoms In polychoria, the additional pupils are usually smaller than normal, and are separated individually in a different segment of the iris. This can cause less light to enter the iris, which can cause dim vision and other problems with focusing. The obvious sign of polychoria is the presence of two pupils in one eye. Other accompanying signs and symptoms may include Blurred vision Dim or double vision Seeing glares The oblong shape of the additional pupils A bridge of iris tissue in between the pupils Causes The specific underlying cause of polychoria is not yet discovered. However, some conditions have been linked to this condition, such as Glaucoma Detached retina Polar cataracts Abnormal eye development or pupil margins Treatment Mild cases of polychoria do not require treatment, especially if vision remains unaffected. However, for those who experience difficulties with their vision, surgery can be an option. Though, since true polychoria is extremely rare, it can be challenging to determine the best course of treatments for it aside from surgery. Pupiloplasty is one of the few treatment options for polychoria. This surgery involves cutting through the tissue of the iris to remove the bridge, that has formed in between the two pupils to improve vision. Unfortunately, with the extremely rare cases of true polychoria, there is not enough data to determine the success rate of this surgery. The good news is that, you may not be required to undergo any treatment if your polychoria does not cause visual impairment, and does not interfere with daily activities. If you are a person with polychoria, it is necessary to visit your eye doctor regularly for eye checkups to monitor any changes with your vision.